Entering the 10th position, we come face to face with the legendary and unyielding sword Durandal. Durandal is a legendary sword steeped in medieval French and Spanish epic poetry. It is famously associated with the hero Roland in The Song of Roland, a chanson de geste from the Carolingian cycle. Durandal is described as an exquisitely crafted and indestructible sword with a keen edge. Roland, a noble and valiant knight in Charlemagne's army, is the legendary owner of Durandal. Durandal is renowned for its incredible strength and sharpness. According to legend, it was forged by the legendary smith Wayland the Smith. The sword was crafted with materials from a comet, making it an extraordinary and nearly invincible weapon. Durandal symbolizes heroism, loyalty, and the inevitability of fate. Its unbreakable nature represents the resilience of the knightly spirit in the face of overwhelming challenges. Securing the ninth position, we delve into the dragon-slaying sword, the legendary Gram. In Norse mythology, Gram, also known as Bamung, is the legendary sword associated with the hero Sigurd, Siegfried in German mythology. Gram is described as a majestic sword with a keen edge. It was originally owned by Sigurd's father, Sigmund, and later reforged by the skilled dwarf Regan for Sigurd to slay the dragon Fafnir. Gram is renowned for its ability to cut through almost anything. It was reforged from the shattered fragments of its predecessor, the Sword of Odin, which Sigmund broke during battle. Gram's most famous feat is Sigurd's use of it to slay the dragon Fafnir, gaining him immense wealth and power. Gram symbolizes heroism, destiny, and the consequences of wielding great power. Its association with the dragon-slaying motif reinforces the theme of overcoming formidable challenges and the cyclical nature of fate. Taking the eighth spot, we encounter the almighty Gungnir. A legendary weapon from Norse mythology, Gungnir is the magical spear wielded by Odin, the Allfather. Gungnir is described as an exquisite and unbreakable spear with a distinctive feature of never missing its target. Odin, the chief of the Asur gods, is the sole owner of this powerful weapon. Gungnir is not only a deadly weapon but also a symbol of authority. It was forged with unmatched craftsmanship by the skilled dwarves in the heart of Svartalfheim. As a symbol of divine power and unerring precision, Gungnir represents Odin's wisdom and authority over the cosmos. Interesting fact, the term Gung is associated with swaying or vibrating movements, and Gungnir is often linked to the concept of a weapon with a dynamic or penetrating force. Landing gracefully at the seventh spot, we dive into the captivating world of Kusanagi no Tsunogi. A legendary weapon from Japanese mythology, Kusanagi no Tsunogi, also known as the Grass Cutting Sword, is one of the three imperial regalia of Japan. The myth surrounding the sword is most prominently featured in the story of Susano, the storm god and brother of the sun goddess Amaterasu. Kusanagi no Tsunogi is characterized by a double-edged blade and is famously owned by the storm god Susanu. Obtained from the tale of the eight-headed serpent Yamada no Orochi, this sword holds a significant place as one of the sacred treasures associated with the Japanese imperial family, symbolizing their legitimacy. The sword symbolizes divine protection, authority, and the connection between the imperial family and the gods. It is part of the regalia representing the virtues of benevolence, valor, and wisdom. Interesting fact, the actual existence and appearance of Kusanagi no Tsunogi are shrouded in mystery. It is considered one of the sacred treasures of Japan and is reportedly housed at the Atsuyuta Shrine in Nagoya, though it is rarely, if ever, publicly displayed. Stepping into the limelight at the sixth position, the legendary shield that not only defended gods but also bore witness to tales of divine power and protection. The formidable Aegis. The legendary shield from Greek mythology, the Aegis is a protective shield or cloak associated with Zeus and his daughter Athena. It is often depicted as a divine shield made from the skin of the immortal goat Amalthea and is described as a shield adorned with the head of Gorgon, often Medusa. The Aegis serves as a powerful protective device, and its creation involves the divine craftsmanship of the gods. The shield is often used in battles to inspire fear in enemies and to offer invulnerability to its wielder. This legendary shield is prominently featured in various myths where Zeus uses it to protect himself or others in battle. The Gorgon's head on the shield is said to have the power to petrify or terrify foes. The Aegis symbolizes divine protection and authority. 
Interesting fact, the Aegis is sometimes mentioned in conjunction with the phrase under the Aegis, meaning under the protection or sponsorship of a powerful guiding authority. Before we reveal the top five, if you're loving this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can unsubscribe later. In the spotlight at the fifth position, a trident with symbolic depths that cut through the fabric of cosmic existence. The mythical weapon, Trishul. A legendary weapon from Hindu mythology, the Trishul is a powerful trident associated with Lord Shiva, one of the principal deities of the Hindu pantheon. The Trishul has three prongs or tines, symbolizing the three fundamental aspects of existence, creation, preservation, and destruction. Shiva, the god of destruction, wields the Trishul as a symbol of his cosmic authority. This legendary weapon is associated with Shiva's role as the destroyer of ignorance and illusion. The trident is believed to have been crafted by the divine architect Vishwakarma. The Trishul symbolizes control over the three qualities governing the universe, sattva, goodness, rajas, passion, and tamas, ignorance. It represents the power to overcome the dualities of life. Interesting fact, the Trishul is often depicted alongside the Damaru, drum, and a small image of Shiva's bull, Nandi. This combination represents the divine rhythm and cosmic order maintained by Lord Shiva. Thundering into the fourth position, we unveil the mighty Mjolnir. Is a legendary weapon from Norse mythology, Mjolnir is the legendary hammer of Thor, the god of thunder. It is a fearsome hammer with a distinctive short handle and a powerful, square-shaped head. Only Thor, the thunder god, possesses the strength to wield it. Its appearance is often described with intricate inscriptions and symbols, emphasizing its divine nature. Mjolnir is a formidable weapon capable of summoning lightning and thunder when thrown. Crafted from the heart of a dying star by Sindri and Brock, it is believed to be indestructible. Its creation involved a competition among the dwarves, with Brock winning despite Loki's interference. The hammer always returns to Thor's hand when thrown, making it a symbol of precision and control. Additionally, Mjolnir is central to Thor's role as a protector of Asgard and the Asur gods. Mjolnir symbolizes thunder, lightning, protection, and the might of the gods. Its unbreakable nature and returning ability highlight its connection to divine power and the cyclical forces of nature. Interesting fact, Mjolnir's handle is said to be shorter than expected, symbolizing the compact and efficient nature of Thor's might. Claiming its spot at number three, a weapon shrouded in tales of intricate mystical feats and symbolic power. The enigmatic Gibulk. Gibulk is a legendary weapon from Irish mythology. It is described as a barbed spear made from the bone of a sea monster. Ku Kulain, the hero of Ulster, is the owner of this deadly weapon. Its appearance is characterized by the barbs that extend upon impact. Gibulk is a distinctive weapon with a unique usage. It is thrown into the air, and while in flight, it transforms into multiple barbs that impale the enemy upon contact. Crafted by the skilled warrior woman Skathak, the spear adds a layer of mythological craftsmanship to its legend. Gibulg symbolizes the precision and deadly skill of its wielder. The unique throwing technique and transformative nature of the weapon emphasize its mythical and mystical aspects. Interesting fact. The Gibulg, also known as the Spear of Mortal Pain, is a legendary weapon described as a barbed spear. It is renowned for its one-strike kill capability, causing fatal wounds nearly impossible to heal. Sculpting its presence at the illustrious second position wielded by the mischievous and powerful Monkey King, the all-powerful Rui Jingu Bang, a legendary weapon from Chinese mythology and literature, its owner, the Monkey King, is a mischievous and powerful character known for his supernatural abilities. The staff's transformative abilities allow Sun Wukong to manipulate its size from incredibly compact to an immense length. In the novel, Sun Wukong acquires Rui Jingu Bang from the undersea palace of the Dragon King. The staff is initially a massive pillar, but Sun Wukong is able to shrink it down to a convenient size, small enough to be tucked behind his ear or expand it to colossal proportions when needed. This magical ability allows the staff to be incredibly versatile in both combat and day-to-day -day use. The staff symbolizes Sun Wukong's mastery over cosmic forces and his irreverent, yet potent, nature. Its transformative capabilities mirror the Monkey King's ability to adapt and overcome adversity.
Ascending to the pinnacle at number one, we enter the realm where destiny intertwines with the fated bearer, behold the legendary Excalibur, a legendary sword from Arthurian legend. It is often depicted as a majestic and powerful sword, sometimes adorned with intricate designs. King Arthur is the sole owner of this iconic weapon, and its appearance reflects its extraordinary nature. Excalibur is renowned for its exceptional sharpness and is said to have been given to Arthur by the Lady of the Lake. In some versions, Arthur draws Excalibur from a stone, proving his divine right to rule. The sword is often depicted with a gleaming and radiant blade. King Arthur's used the sword to defeat various enemies, including the formidable knight, Sir Mordred. The sword is also associated with the quest for the Holy Grail, further emphasizing its mystical properties. Excalibur symbolizes Arthur's divine right to rule and his role as a just and heroic king. It represents the idea of the rightful and noble use of power, embodying the ideals of chivalry. Interesting fact. In some versions of the legend, Excalibur is returned to the Lady of the Lake by Sir Bedivere after King Arthur's final battle, highlighting the cyclic nature of the Arthurian legend and the theme of renewal. Certainly, wielding these legendary weapons requires iconic figures such as King Arthur or the Monkey King's son, Yukon. If you're eager to delve deeper into the stories of these legendary wielders, explore the video on the left. For a broader exploration of mythology, click on the video to the right. If you find this content enjoyable, consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel for a continuous journey into mythical tales and legendary lore.